you go to the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments aren't ten things telling you not to do. They're telling you ten things that protect your freedoms. Like if you'll, if you'll abstain from doing these detrimental, dangerous things, then it'll protect the freedoms that you have. So this is actually a freeing thing. It's not to limit you. It's to let you free so you know, hey, I'm not going to go step on that landmine. Like murdering somebody is wrong. Sleeping with somebody's wife, that's wrong. Wanting to go steal what somebody else has worked hard to have, that's wrong. Idolizing things that are false, that's wrong. Those are going to have detrimental effects on my life. But saying that I'm going to restrict someone from saying what they feel, their opinion, no matter how strong that opinion may be, and say, well, we're going to bring them up on a criminal charge because they said, hey, we need to exact a certain kind of justice here because the crap you're doing ain't working. And you're going to say, no, those are hate crimes, and you're going to penalize that person. That's not for the common good. 